Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software. A software name as VMS Lite app for PC. So basically, in this video, we are going to describe it, describe you that what is VMS Lite application for PC. What are its feature and function? What are its minimum system requirement? And we'll tell you that how you get the file, how you install the file, and how you configure the software after installation to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video, and subscribe to our channel. And please press press the bell icon to get all the upcoming no videos notifications. So what is VMS Lite app for PC or for Windows? Basically, the VMS Lite application is from the Word technology. It is very re renowned CCTV surveillance company. You all know it allows you to view cameras and manage video. Turn.net, a software company that assists the world. It deals in a wide range of CCTV cameras and then VRs and DVRs. Now, basically, it is a CMS. It means it is a software which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on PC. This is the software program for monitoring the CCTV camera on the laptop screen or a computer screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on a remote location over the internet. So, keep watching. Now we'll tell you that what are its features and functions. Then you can connect many devices in this app and manage the app detect and feed live view. You can get a real-time view of our activities without any time lag. The app auto collects the data in low network areas and provides you seamless video. It takes footage and snap for you. It supports two-way audio. And you can see the multiple channels at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You control the PDZ cameras like you are able to access pan tilt and to zoom feature of the PDZ camera. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, etc. To take a back of the recorded videos, you control the quality of the video recording and many more. Now we'll tell you its minimum system requirement. So you should have at least Windows 8, 10 or 11 or even 7 but I don't recommend using 7 because this is this Windows 7 is discontinued by Microsoft. You should have at least 4 i5 processor or equivalent process processor in other companies and you should have at least 4 GB of RAM and at least 500 MB of free space on your hard drive. Why this is 500 MB? This software installation don't take much hard disk space while installation. But when you see the video, you may want to record on your PC. You may want to take a snapshot on your PC. For then, then, for, then for that, you should have at least 500 MB of free space on your PC. So now let's start that how you get the file, how you install the software and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all the features that we are discussing earlier in this video. So let's start. So for this, you should open any browser. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome. So just I open my Chrome browser and search for that V double MS light for PC and press enter when I do this I find that here is it is my favorite website and you should the link you should find the link of this of that website just open the link and try to scroll down little and when you scroll down you find the download button for both Windows and Mac so I am using Windows and so I, so I definitely go for the Windows button, Windows software. Let's click on this. When I do this, it will redirect me to a page where we have to wait, wait for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds my download button is enabled. I just click on the down, download button and, and press and close this when you close this it download start automatically here I just click on this and you download start here 
let the download to be finished and then we'll tell you that how you install this this file now it is downloaded just click on this show in folder when i do this you here you find your downloaded file the side click on the downloaded file and click as extract when i do this you get the folder name same as file name just open the folder and again open the folder and just right click on the downloaded file or application file or the installer file and click as run as administrator and click yes and click next just tick this i have read the agreement and all just click next and again click next and click install here you find the net shortcut just tick this so that it shortcut is enabled on desktop and is now it installing just wait for a few few minute here once it is completed you get the successful mass notification that the software is installed successfully now it is installing component means it is installing that redirect microsoft redistributable microsoft c++ library and all now just click run smart pss this and so that it will automatically open the software just click finish when i do this it asks for password so here i use my password and just tick auto login after registration so it, it is it automatically will log in you don't want to enter a password again and again and just click next and tick anything like i choose this video is totally for educational and training purpose so i did choose anything you can choose according to your choice now this is the interface of the software will shown like this and here you find that this is the main interface of the software the first thing you should find about the is the devices and the device is cfg so when i click on devices and here you find the option auto search this add this two option is very important if your pc and your device in the device you are adding like dvr and vr cam is on the same network pc is connected to same router then you should click on the auto search otherwise you should click on this add off so in my case i am using to connect with my remote location device so i just click this plus add and after that what should i do that i put device name any anything like what i remember like test device okay and here you find that ip domain or sn so for ip domain if you want connect any local nvr or any local um, dvr or you should want to connect your device with using static ip then you should click ip domain otherwise you should click sn sn is for serial number and you want to connect on if you want to connect a remote device without using static ip then you should click sn so sn is the serial number of the device and you should find this serial number by by logging to the device so here i enter my serial number
so this is my serial number and you should leave the default group here username and password so it is the username and the password of the device means the device you are adding please don't be confused this is a username and password of the device when device you are adding like db and whatever you are adding and put password and just click add when i do this you should that it is it's come offline and it totally depend on your speed now it is online it totally depend on your speed at your end and your remote locations speed your device speeds device speed at your device now after that click new and just click the live view and after that just click on any channel here like this so now the camera comes to online so this is all about this software so chief thank you for watching and thank you once again and thank you have a nice day